Howdy do and moving right along. Hey, I tried to drink a Foster's Lager. I bought it a while back. I had it in the fridge. Um, you know, there was a time when that was considered a good beer. It really was. Didn't seem as lazy as most American beers. So it had much more flavor. I drank this now thinking, man, this sucks. <laughs> so I don't know if the recipe's changed or just my palate has changed that much over the years. I tend to think both. I don't think it is brewed the same way it once was. And I buy it occasionally for nostalgia. Uh, but th I don't know if I'll ever buy it again after tasting it this time because I really had a hard time drinking it. In fact, I poured most of it into my container here with some wood to soak some wood for the chicken I'm about to smoke. I really disliked it a lot and I was very disappointed. And so, I'm going to drink something here that is going to make you scratch your head, especially after drinking that Foster's. This is Genesee Cream. Again, out of the classic American beer. That really isn't considered a good beer anymore. Um... Uh, Again, I created a, <laughs> a craft beer full pop by drinking it right out the bottle. Because beers like this are better cold, and that's just the way it is. 5.2%, 12 IBUs. Uh, again, I don't know the ingredients in this. They don't tell me. I'm guessing there are some adjuncts involved. But the truth is, this is a much better beer than that Foster's I just drank. And that's why I'm popping now to prove a point. There was a time when that Foster's really was considered a good beer. I just don't think they used the same recipe that was once involved because this, it really sucked. I hated it. It was very lazy. It could, you could tell it had many adjuncts, a lot of corn going on in there. It was very terrible. But uh, I'm drinking this Genesee now. Now the regular Genesee... Uh, lager is very sweet. You can tell it certainly has a lot of corn adjuncts involved. Uh, in fact, they say in their website that they use corn groats, I believe is how they describe it. I don't know what's in this. And there probably is some corn involved too, to be honest with you. But it does feel much crisper than that Foster's I just attempted to drink. I drank about six ounces of it. I used a small glass and it was it was almost undrinkable. I just could not drink anymore. And, and this isn't a great craft beer by any stretch of the imagination, but it is, it, there is something likable about this Genesee cream. And again, I think a lot of it is nostalgia because I do like these old, these old style stubby bottles. Uh, for a while, they, they tried to you know, <laughs> they tried to modern this up by selling. They, at one point, it was it was marketed as Jenny Cream in in a in a you know different glass bottle. But but really, a beer like this, you call it what it is. It is Genesee Cream Ale. It is really served best in these stubby bottles. Uh, they do make heritage packs, and I, and I would like to buy the beers like your 12 horse, uh, but they're not available in my market. That irritates me to no end. Oh, damn. <laughs> but anyway, side digress. I'm not going to try to convince any craft beer drinker that this is a great American craft beer. It is not. It's not. But what it is, it is classic American history, and that's what it is. Um, it isn't. I don't think it's a terrible beer. I really don't. Um... Especially when you're dealing with weather like we got here today. It's incredibly humid. It's about 85 plus. It feels hotter than that because it's stickier than a Tijuana hooker. <laughs> oh, oh, Christ. If you ever had Tijuana hooker, you know how sticky that can be, but that's another story. Uh, but, you know, uh, I digress. Uh, although not a great beer, although not great flavor, there's I don't find anything about it off-putting. And again, I'm not snobby or pretentious enough to, to assume there's not a time and a place for every beer. There is certainly a time and a place for a beer like this. And the time and a place is a hot-ass day like this where you just want to have a few beers and have a good time. And that's what a beer like this is for. It's not going to break your bank. Uh, I bought this for uh, $5.69 a six-pack.
And there you go. Is it worth seven or eight dollars a six pack? No, for me, no. But if I could buy it for five sixty nine, yes sir, yes sir, three bags full. I will buy this some bitch every time at that price. Ah. Whoo! How are you? I love you. You love the beer whispers hanging out on this patio. Smoking a chicken, not choking a chicken, but smoking a chicken. You can see that smoke. Can you see the smoke? I can see it. I don't know if it translates to the camera. If you can see the smoke behind me, can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? <laughs> anyway, I got a chicken in the. <laughs> I got a chicken in there. I got some wood. I'm using orange wood uh, because that's what I had available. Um, I bought it at uh, Academy Sports. They have some orange wood. The uh, last one I used peach wood. But they were out of the peach woods, so my doors was some bitch. Um, I do find when I'm smoking pork or and or chicken that fruit woods work better. If you're doing a heavier meat, uh, you know, sometimes you want to use hickory or mesquite. I, I don't know. I, I'm not a big fan of mesquite, but some people really like it. So. What are you going to do, right? <laughs> Anyway, I'm using orange wood on this chicken. Chicken, 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 don't choke the chicken, don't choke that chicken. Anyway, I digress. Jesse Cream Ale, the stubby, and you.